Okay, my friends, I have something to talk to you today about hydrogen and how the body uses hydrogen and how you absorb hydrogen. Now, this is not anything to do with any recommendation about do this or don't do that, but there's some new products on the market now which infuse hydrogen into you. And just the way I do things, I invest, start investigating, and I'm looking through all these different studies they've done, and it, it appears that they're not finding any negative situation. And it appears that they are finding some benefits. Now, I'm not making any claims. Again, I just read the research. However, I am going to try this stuff myself. And I'm wondering if anybody else has any information about hydrogen. And, um, you know, just make a comment and say, I tried it and it didn't do anything or, oh, it works great or, you know, any little special things tie things together. And that's all I'm looking for is input. And then I take all the input and I turn it into a snowball and see if it, if it works. So, because I, I, I think hydrogen could have a positive health effect. I, you know, possible. Again, no, no medical information here whatsoever. But you, we use hydrogen as the smallest packet of energy. And it can be broken down instantly. When you take hydrogen, you hit it with a spark. Whew. And these are what it is. The cells spark electricity. They know this is happening. That's how conduction of, of everything in your body happens is because of electrical discharges causing whoops, some response. So we're going to talk about this, and I'm going to show you what... I think is possible. And again, no medical advice whatsoever. All right, here we go. All right, this is Alex Smith, and he's going to show this hydrogen oxygen balloon explosion. Now, I'm going to open this up. Now, here's the deal. He's got a, a balloon, and it's got H2 plus O2. All right, H2 O2. All right, that means he's got oxygen is H2O. So he's got H2O2. So he's got an extra oxygen. Now, hydrogen, if you put a spark to it, it's all over. Because this is what this is all about, spark, to create oxygen, to turn it into, instead of a ball like this, which is a hydrogen. And it's, it's somewhat stable. But as soon as you hit it with a spark which is like one of these, it explodes. And where do you see the explosion? And then you're going to see all kind of smoke. But it's not smoke, it's water. Because here's the reduction. You've got H2O2 all right, in the balloon. It explodes. What happens? It turns into two H2Os, which is two water molecules. And it changes one of the other oxygens into hydrogen, but it makes it even smaller than hydrogen. It makes it into these pieces. That's why it's so devastating. It doesn't make it just into hydrogen. Well, big deal. It's not, that's not going to make the explosion you're going to hear in a second. And he's telling the kids, keep your mouth open because it could blow your eardrums out. And he's right. All right, here it goes. Listen to this. <laughs> now that's how to teach science, my friends. Look at all these kids. Now you see the smoke all that? That's not smoke. That's H2O. It's mist. It's vaporized water. And the explosion was the hydrogen going off and creating big balls of energy where they should be stuck together like this until they explode and they t get away from each other. And every one of them wants its own region. That's what hydrogen... Now, in the body, it does the same thing. We have little sparks going on all the time. And when you get down to this size, you're, they don't even realize how small these are. They talk about 
hydrogen. Hydrogen is this big. I'm talking about particles this big. That's what's moving through your body. That's what's making electricity move throughout your system. And this is also what makes sparks. When they're this small, they make sparks. Okay, as I say, this is just research, but they're talking about what's the importance of hydrogen in the human body, and it's used for everything. It's the most important product in the human body because it, it breaks down into all the little bits and pieces to transfer nerve signals and break down other chemistry and so forth because these are what create um, isotopes. Isotopes are nothing more than the, the main particle breaking loose in a couple of little bits and pieces. Then it becomes an isotope. Then it will attach to something else. And then it will attach to something else. And then it will lose a couple of more. And it will actually become a different element on the periodic table. That's why elements break down. Because they lose some of their bits and pieces. And they call them da daughter isotopes. Alright, these are the neural networks which are in the brain. Every little flash you see there, that's some kind of a chemical interaction. And there is just millions of different interactions. These are very simplified. But every time you have a transfer of information, it has to go a little signal of, a, of a, an electron of some sort. There's got to be something moving there. There's got to be some electrical conductivity to turn something on, turn something off, retrieve something, move something. But it's, it's, it's a dance of particles in the brain. And like they're showing input node layers, hidden node layers, output. So you, it's moving information all the time. And the only way you can move information is by making and breaking a chemical bond. And when you do that, you make a spark. And that spark, as you saw, works very well with hydrogen to move things rapidly. So I guess that's about all I can say about that. It just requires a lot of inf trying to do some large studies on this and see how hydrogen does affect you. All right, so again, no medical advice whatsoever. All right, thank you.